Yo, the table is set. All the pieces are in place. All they gotta do now is storm the tower and get overhaul. Boku no Hero Academia, chapter 137. Even though it was pure luck, everything that Night Eye was doing, his investigations finally paid off as he found out where the tower was that Overhaul was in. He found out where Eri was, and he found it in a pretty interesting way. You know, he was at like this toy store, probably trying to get some memorabilia for All Might, and he saw a guy there who was asking for something that was really specific, and just off of that, he kind of got a hunch and decided to grab this guy up, make him look in his eyes, use his ability to look forward, and he found out, sure enough, this was one of Overhaul's minions, and that's how he was able to find out where she was again. A lot of luck was put into this, but at the same time, hey, it's time to go in, it's time to storm this tower, but I'm scared, guys. I am really scared, because the biggest thing that I'm worried about is these heroes don't truly know what they're getting into. They know that the League of Villains may be involved, but they don't know for sure. We don't exactly know what Overhaul is capable of, and with everybody going in to storm in at once with this much, too much confidence, I, I don't know, it just feels like this is all working too well. I've been saying for a long time now that we're gonna lose somebody in this arc. A lot of people are saying that we're gonna lose Mirio. Somebody's gonna fall. Somebody has a fall in this arc. You got the looming darkness of perhaps losing All Might. Things are just going too well for this plan, and <sighs> I'm just waiting for, waiting for it to begin. I like how um, Horikoshi has been setting this up. I like how everything's been explained. I like how they're building this tension, this urgency, this death to save um, Eri, but we just don't know what Shigaraki has planned. We don't know what Overhaul has planned, and we've seen all the tools coming into pieces in the villain's favor. I mean, they got the bullets out there. They got Ares ability. They got Overhaul's ability. We haven't seen all of the eight percepts of death, so we don't know what type of beast that Overhaul has with them, and I just know that these heroes aren't ready, and as close as we get to it, the more exciting I get, but the more worried I get at the same time because... This is going to be dark. I've been saying for a while now, this is going to be a dark arc. And the um, the interns, you know, our kids from UA, this is an optional assignment. They really don't have to be there. And um, my racer here pointed that out. He was like, you know what? You guys don't have to do this. You can back out if you want to. But we know our characters. We know they're going to go in. We know that they want to go for it. You see Mirio. You see Deku's resolve to go save Eri. Everybody else is on board, too. And they are getting ready, too. They're getting prepared. They're training back at the school. You know, they're going in a little bit harder than usual. And Baba goes looking like, what the fuck is going on? Why is everybody stepping up like this? And... I've said this before as well. I really don't want him and Todoroki to be in this arc. It's time for some more characters to get some shine. We've seen Kirishima get some shine. It's time to get some of that Su shine. It's time to get some of that Araraka shine. It's time to let somebody else shine through in this and kind of section off and divvy up the development. Let's see everybody else level up because we know Bakugo and Todoroki can do their thing. They'll probably be better off than anybody. I think the only people that would probably do better than them in this situation would be the big three and we got them along as well and that's something that's kind of been focused on too. It's kind of like if we got the big three then why do we need these kids here? But then again they are sidekicks and I'm worried about Mirio as well as more people bring this up to me. He's a little bit too determined just like Deku, but the person that I'm really worried about probably even more than Mirio would be Sun Eater because he was too easily broken back when he was out there with Kirishima. And if he gets in and these villains are half as busy as we think and he gets taken out again, his quirk becomes immobile. Maybe he might have a spur of rage and surprise everyone, or maybe he might lose that resolve again, and he might be the one to fail. All I know is that somebody's going down in this arc. I really would be a little bit disappointed if they didn't, but now we're about to get to it. I mean, I like the build up, but now it's time to start swinging some fists. And Deku has a horrible poker face. Oh my god, this guy's at the lunch table. He's thinking about Eri the entire time. He's thinking about the mission. He's tearing up. He's crying. I mean, he can't hold this in at all because this is supposed to be a secret mission. You're not supposed to tell anybody about anything. And the fact that he is going through so much right now and can't talk to anybody is tearing him apart. But it also brought one of the greatest moments, not only in this chapter, but probably in the series himself, is to see the support group and see the friends that Deku has. And he's begin to make around here because remember Ida came to him and Ida told him you told me once before and this is like kind of loosely translated that 
if there's ever a time where you feel that you're backed in a corner, if you need anything, I'm here. Talk to me. Remember, Deku was there for him when he was going through his thing back in his staying arc. So to see him reach out his hand and say, look, I'm your boy. Talk to me. If something wrong with you, let me know. You don't have to tell me, but come on, mellow out, let me know. And even to see Todoroki, Todoroki stepping up and seeing his character develop more and more and more by saying that even heroes can cry sometimes. And to see them helping out Deku the best way they can, recognizing that something's wrong, sharing their lunch with him, saying, if maybe this is what we can do. Maybe this is what we can do to make you feel better. Maybe you don't want to talk about it, but we're here. We're your friends. Man, that's what's up. Look at the growth, the development, the friendship, and seeing moments like this is what make Boku no Hero shine through because these, these kids, they really do care about each other. They really are friends, and we're seeing people who were kind of like guarded at one point in the series or people who had like a linear type of approach, and now we're seeing them all come together as a family. All we got to do is get Bakugo into the, in the fold, but he's carrying his own little way remember you're selling Deku you can't lose again so I like how everybody is showing that they care in their own little way and that was definitely a big moment to see Todoroki and Ida just being there for Deku in their own way sharing that lunch with them man now that, that was a good moment that gave me the feels that's what's up but now that the planning's out the way it's time to go in to storm Deku another good chapter of Boku no Hero Academia knocking it out the park once again the action is probably going to begin now I think we probably will get another chapter like this of them going in because Overhaul was waiting on somebody. It's not particularly the heroes, but it's probably Shigaraki because he turns around at the end of the chapter and says, oh, so you're finally here. And we get that panel of all the heroes looking beastly geared up, ready to go in. But I'll say it again. I'm worried, man. I'm worried. Let me know what you guys thought of the chapter. Keep letting me know who you think is going to fall or if anybody's going to fall at all in this arc. If you liked the video, go ahead and drop it a like. And if you want to hear more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as there's not a shortage of content you didn't all join on this channel. And as I always say, you guys can be anywhere on YouTube right now. But you chose to listen to me. And I really appreciate that. So thanks for stopping by. On that note, it's your boy Scott signing out. See you soon.